Hey guys, Justin here in the 3x3 test tent with another unboxing video. If you like this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and share down below. What we've got today is another light from Bloom Plus. Uh, they are trying to step up their game going to Samsung diodes, so we've got a new light from them. Uh, of course, we've got uh, all the meters here. We've got the uh, meter meter. We got the heat meter, we got the watt meter, we got the par meter spectrometer, we got Baby Katana here. Baby Katana took a uh, little bit of a hit in the last video when I was opening the uh, the hilt kind of broke a little bit, so it's got a, a short hilt now, but still definitely usable. So let's uh, let's get the meters out of the way here, and we will get down to business. See what we got in the box. It's a little bit harder to, to hold baby katana now. A little bit easier to cut myself. It's actually pretty sharp. All right. There we go. These little corner pieces. I should be able to just slide this sucker right out. Just like that. All right. Boom. Hey, we got it right side up. Look at that. Had a 50-50, it's a lucky day. There we go, we'll flip it around here, get the logo straight. Nice looking light. You can see here they've, uh, they've spread out the diodes. They're bunched up in the corners now, like a lot of companies are doing. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Bloom Plus stepping up their game. Not only are they uh, getting better diodes, but they're also following the uh, the latest trends in diode spacing. So pretty cool, uh, considering Bloom Plus is uh, usually the most cost-effective, least expensive light for the money that uh, I usually review. So. Um, pretty cool. Let's see how this thing reviews. We're going to try it in this 3x3. I think it should do pretty well. Uh, as you can see, it's, it fits in the tent quite nicely. It's only about uh, maybe 5 or 6 inches on each side. So I think it'll do, uh, I think it'll do pretty well. Take a look at the back here. Double driver. A lot of wires. power cord is attached but it looks like you could detach it standard hanging kit you got plastic gear on the rope ratchets nothing too crazy there you can see on this side we've got a dimmer dimmer switch over here oh it feels like it actually has an off an off click so maybe it goes all the way to zero. Pretty nice looking board. It does look like it has a little bit of coating on the diodes. It's not super thick. But you can see it is there just a little bit. Definitely could be a little bit thicker just to ensure that they have good even coverage. And then the driver that they use, I've never heard of, but there it is, Dunn, dunnpower.com.cn. There, I might be able to get a better shot of that one. So that's what we're looking at driver-wise. And then their Samsung uh, 301 series diodes. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty thin. The board's fairly thin. Let's get this sucker hooked up and uh, let's see what kind of, uh, kind of par she pushes. Ah, when I picked up the light, I found a uh, sticker underneath. That's cool. Big old Bloom Plus sticker to slap on there. 
And then we got the manual. So here we go with the manual. User manual. Got the fold out, shows all their models, the 1500, 2500, 3000, and the 4000. We have the 3000, which is right there. If you want to take a look at the specs. Info here about dimmer knob, suggested positioning for veg, seedling, bloom, that's what they suggest. Height, assembly instructions. I don't see anything about warranty in particular on here, uh, but I will put that info uh, either in the description. Uh, when you click on it, it'll be there, or I'll put it, if it's not in the description, click. I'll put it next to the description click. So yeah, let's get it hooked up. I'm sure you guys are well aware that it is Black Friday week. And just like every year for Black Friday, I will be pumping out a lot of videos this week. So definitely, definitely give the thumbs up, show support. Because when I'm pumping out this many videos, sometimes they don't make it into your box that fast. So make sure you're clicking on the channel. Uh, looking at all the recent uploads and stuff because I'm going to put out a lot of videos this week. So don't miss out. And click the link uh, below also for my discount codes on my website. A lot of those codes stack with Black Friday deals. So make sure you're checking that, seeing if you can save some extra money. All right, guys, we are back and we've got everything all hooked up. Fairly standard, just standard hanging kit hooked up right to there good to go a little bit of a balancing issue because the dimmer is over here and these wires were really short and also over here so it was kind of leaning this way so I loosened up those wires which are a little bit too long I'm not really sure why they're that long I guess maybe you could uh, take the drivers off and mount them externally I guess that's why those wires are that long but uh, I went ahead and moved them over there to uh, even out the weight distribution a little bit so that it doesn't lean quite so much seems to work pretty well now let's take a look at the uh, the bottom side here that is the unit and you can see how the diodes are spaced really really close to the outside not really a big fan of this box right here being being right here though and you can see that there's diodes right up against this box so that's obviously blocking a little bit of light not a ton but doesn't have it over here it is bunched up though look at that so we've got cool white warm white i see we've got a bunch of reds there's an infrared right there we don't have uv but we do have a few infrared in the mix so pretty cool, pretty standard. I mean, it's an inexpensive budget light, and I think it's going to do pretty well in this three x three. Let's uh, let's turn on the the par meter here. There you go. Now you can see the uh, the par and the wattage. Only pushing 85 watts right now at the minimum. Oh, not quite at the minimum yet. There we go. Now we're at the minimum. All right, so minimum 40 watts, 40 watts. And I think it does shut all the way off as well. Yep. And then turning on, it's automatically at like 20% almost just by turning it on. Minimum is off. So 20% is, is on. And uh, looking 80, 90, not quite enough to really do a whole lot with. Let's turn it up a little bit. All right, so that's gonna be like uh, for clones and seedlings right there, just under 40%. And that's gonna give you about 140, 130 to 150 in the corners. Let's take a, uh, a center reading here. Looking at 211, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. 
So that's where we're at for veg and, or excuse me, for clones and seedlings. Now let's keep going and get to veg here. Target for about 350 to 400 for veg. So I'm going to say like right there is probably going to do it right there. Let it steady a little bit. And we are at just under 80% on the dial. Wattage 167. And that's going to put us right there for veg. Center reading's probably going to be a little high. Oh yeah, we're almost a flower. We're at like the base of flower there at 500 for center reading. So it's definitely strong. Some people like a little bit stronger veg though, so it's not going to really uh, not going to really kill anything if you're vegging with 500. To, for me, it's just a little bit easier to veg with 350. So let's uh, it's we're almost to the max, so we may as well just max it out and see what this thing does. So we're all the way up. As far as we can go and we're looking at 299 watts just short of 300 watts 600 around 600 in the corners that's respectable that's perfectly flowerable like 600 is kind of like my minimum requirement for really good bud so yeah it'll definitely uh, flower a 3x3 three three for certain Centering is going to be really good. 900 in the center. So yeah, man. This is a really good budget 3x3 three three light. As far as I can tell. That's pretty awesome. I mean, you, it, you can't really complain for the price and the wattage. I mean, 300 watts and you're hitting 600 par in every corner. Which is going to give you fatty colas. And then 900 in the middle, so I mean you've got a variation from 6 to 900 through here. That's going to give you a lot of fatty colas. It really is. Let's check over here. It's a little, little funky with the edge here. If I can get it to stand upright. 670 on the edge there. We'll run an edge reading over here. 750. Six forty-seven. It's a little bit. This wall is kind of weird. Go over to here. Now there's no reflection at all on this side. It's just a wide open door. So six thirty. Over here. And then back to the middle. Nine hundred. That's. I mean. That's fine. That's that's really exactly what you would want. 900 isn't too strong for most people to deal with. And uh, 600 is what you would want as a minimum for the corners. There's a lot of lights that you'll see out there. They'll test and they'll really kind of only count the middle portion. And then the corners will be at like 400. Everything else will be at like six, 700 they'll say. But then every corner will be at like 400. And other testers will pass that light and say, oh yeah, this grid's really great, even par, average par, I think is the term that they use. Average par rating, which is complete and total crap. Um, you don't want to average it because if you got a dead spot over here and a hot spot over here, it's obviously going to average really well. It's just not going to grow very well. So yeah, the whole average par rating is, um, in my opinion, a... Uh, a useless rating absolutely useless because if it can't survive the four corner par readings like what I've got here it ain't gonna survive your grow that's all there is to it all there is to it so yeah everybody else that's using the average par tell them tell them no man I want to see the real par not no average but yeah let's uh pretty much uh just check the spectrum and let it warm up. That's about all we got left. So let me grab the uh, spectrometer here. 
turn that on. Oops, I almost dropped it. That would have been bad. Kind of an expensive thing to drop. Take a reading. Holy! That is a lot of orange. And a decent bump at 740. So it's got a decent amount of infrared. It doesn't look like it has that many diodes, but damn. They're actually kicking out a little bit. That's a decent bump. It's got a fatty bump at red, but damn, look at the orange. Wow. Super, super orange and red. A little bit of green, some blue. There's the makeup there at 1,000 PPFD. It's a little bit higher because the meter's taller, of course. So yeah, really, really red oriented. Far red, red, a little bit of blue. That's not bad. Not bad for the budget light. So let's go ahead and let it warm up and we'll uh, take some heat readings and wrap it up. All right, so we've let this warm up for about an hour or so. Let's take a heat reading here. Now the shiny part here is not really gonna read very uh, accurately, but there is a sticker right there that will read quite accurately, and then also stickers on the drivers. So, knowing that, let's go take a look at that. 135 is what we're looking at on the board. 145 on the driver. So pretty warm on the driver. The driver's really, really working hard. Uh, 120 or 135 on the board is... I'd say about average, maybe a couple degrees high, like 131-ish, 130 is usually around where a lot of them are. So maybe a little bit high. The driver's definitely working pretty hard though. So yeah. I mean, it's a budget light. So it's, uh, they're pushing this tech to its absolute limits because they're trying to uh, obviously spend as little as possible. So these, these drivers are probably being pushed as far as they will go, which isn't surprising. Pretty cool though, overall the light uh, does really well in a 3x3 space. It looks pretty good, I like the, uh, the new spacing of the diodes. It seems to really help uh, to uh, put more par into the corners, which is really, really helpful because you don't really need so much in the middle. As you guys can see, even with the diodes spread out to the edges like this, the middle is still plenty, plenty high. So they could even spread even more outwards, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, update. I'm going to be doing a lot of Black Friday videos, so make sure that you're watching these, giving the, uh, the thumbs up, sharing them to everybody, and getting them out there and I will keep putting up more videos with Black Friday deals. Black Friday deals also going for a lot of my partners. Check out the uh, link below for the uh, justintimetogrow.com uh, discount page where I've got a lot of discounts. A lot of them will stack with Black Friday deals. So save yourself some extra money. And I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, review. Until next time, happy growing.